Does anybody want to guess where I am? Anybody? Palm trees that are guarded? That's kind of weird, right? Huh. Oh, wait. Am I at Area 51? No, 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 no. Palm trees won't survive out there. Well, then where the heck am I? These beautiful trees out here. Why would they not want you to uh, access those beautiful trees? Um, look, there's just like a whole bunch of unused land out here. Beautiful land. And, uh, oh look, here's a clue right over here. Look, what's that? It's like a mountain. Yeah, yeah that mountain looks familiar. Which, let's see if we can zoom in on that. Oh yeah, that's Mount Diablo. I know where I am. I'm in my old stomping grounds. Grew up in Concord, Clayton, and uh, drove this road which bisected the Concord Naval Weapons Station. That's right. We were on the front lines of the Cold War. This is where all the nukes were stored. And we were going to be the first one to get nuked ourselves if uh, there was a conflict, which thank God there wasn't. Um, but anyway... I wanted to show you a couple things here. I wanted to show you what trees are drought tolerant. Uh, we have over there a homestead. There's a homestead over there. There's one on this side. We've got a canary palm, drought tolerant, still there. We've got a California pepper tree, still there, drought tolerant. We've got some eucalyptus over there, uh, still there hanging on. Those trees are old, like really old. We've got some kind of, it's like some kind of evergreen. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's kind of tall juniper uh, or cedar or something. But that thing's still there. All drought tolerant. Not only have they not been watered, they're on top of a hill, which is even drier than everything else around them. And they're still hanging on. Okay? I wonder if anybody else like, drives on this road every day thinks about these things. Probably not. But now, I want to talk to you about these guys. Look at this. So, there was obviously a homestead here. Uh, I've been watching these trees since I was a little kid. Just love going by them. And they are so spectacular. But the amazing thing here is it tells you a couple things. It tells you that these trees are absolutely super duty drought tolerant once established. Uh, so you can count on that. And they are long lived. Look, no one has done a thing to this canary palm for like, gosh at least a hundred years. And yet it still is making fruit. There's a big bunch of fruit up there. Uh, and it's self cleaning itself. No one's pruned it. No one's done anything to this tree. And look at this, despite the fact that it doesn't get any water at all. And the fact that the trunk, the bottom of the trunk is like half gone. The tree is still remarkably beautiful and happy. And uh, that's just the way it is when it comes to palm trees. Same thing goes with the Mexican fan pond. Once they get going, and they're in our climate here, these things can live without water for an extremely long time. Um, so I also want you to know like what I go through to make these videos for you guys. I am walking through this crud as we speak. These are all introduced nasty weeds from Europe. No. <laughs> they're not supposed to be here. They were supposed to be beautiful native soft grasses, but instead I'm getting prickled to death. Ow! Charlie, that hurt! Ow! That really hurt. Well, let's get a better look. Um, anyway, yeah, this is a uh, naval weapon station. And uh, my dad always said, hey, you better hope there's not a nuclear war because we're going to get nuked first because they want to knock our uh, installation out. This is a naval weapon station. This all is going to change soon. Uh, unfortunately, the... Uh, the, the, the federal government gave this land to the city of Concord, and I guarantee you, I know what they're thinking. They're going to give it to Sino, the guy who built a big old house in Clayton, right behind where I used to live, and uh, where I buried my cat up on top of this hill. He bulldozed the whole hill, built his house, and a virtual zoo. <laughs> it's a funky place. It's kind of famous out here. But that was my backyard before he uh, built a bunch of homes, made a bunch of money. This is the last section of land out here. Um, I just wanted to show you this. 
But mainly I just wanted to show you how drought time. I'm gonna climb this one. Hopefully I don't get shot. I'm gonna climb this a little bit. There's my shadow. So we give you a big panorama. This beautiful open land. It's not gonna be like this any longer. If you want to view Mount Diablo, oh, my hand's killing me. Oh. If you want to view Mount Diablo, you need to come out to Clayton. If you live in Danville and you think you have a view of the mountain, it doesn't even look like a mountain. Out here, it's a real mountain. Double profile, you've got the uh, North Peak on the left, South Peak on the right. South Peak is 3,849 feet. It's the highest point in all of Contra Costa. And it has the second largest view shed in the entire world next to Mount Kilimanjaro. And the only reason Mount Kilimanjaro is uh, bigger is because uh, the Sierra blocks the view uh, further to the east, whereas Kilimanjaro has open views in all directions. Uh, but it's an incredible view up there. You got to go check it out and uh, appreciate this beautiful scene. This is what California used to look like before we all messed it up. <laughs> Of course, it didn't have palm trees up here. But uh, but yeah, that's a beautiful scene. It's gonna be no more. I wanted to make sure you saw it before it disappeared. And I wanted to make sure that you knew that uh, there are palms being guarded for you by the US military. Make sure nobody messes with them behind a restricted area. And uh, you can rest assured, if you plant your palms, water them for a few years, ah, this really hurts, there's no way out of here. Then, uh, you can have palms for an awful long time, even if you stop watering them, even if you stop trimming them, even if you have to stop doing anything to them, they'll just keep going like the ever ready bunny. And uh, my wife's really irritated with me because I make these videos and she really wants to go. So here we go.